فلقد يسرنا القرآن للذكر فهل من مدكر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته إن شاء الله we begin from سورة آديات today أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والآديات زبها فالموريات خدها والمغيرات سبها فاثرنا به نقا فوسطنا به جمعا إن الإنسان لربه لكنود وإنه لا ذلك لشهيد وإنه لحب الخير لشديد أفلا يعلم إذا بوسر ما في الخبور وحسل ما في الصدور إن ربهم بهم يوم عيد لخبير إذن إمك الله the most beneficent the most merciful by the steeds panting steeds means the fast running horses are called steeds by the steeds panting by those which produce strikes of fire, sparks of fire striking by those that raid at dawn, by those we scatter with it the dust, then penetrate into the crowds. Verily man to his Lord surely is most ungrateful. And verily he is upon that surely a witness and verily he in the love of wealth is surely passionate. Does not he know when will be scattered what is in the graves? And will be made apparent what is in their breasts. Verily their Lord with them. Verily their Lord with them. On that day surely will be well acquainted. اللہ کے نام سے جو بے انتیا مہربان کو برہم فرمانے والا خسم ہے پھنکارے مار کر دوڑنے والے گھوڑوں کی پھر جو اپنے ٹاپوں سے چنگاریاں جھاڑتے ہیں پھر وہ چھاپا مارتے ہیں صبح کا وقت پھر اڑاتے ہیں اس سے غبار پھر وہ جہاں گھستے ہیں کسی مجمع میں بے شک انسان اپنے رب کا انتہائی ناشکر ہے اور بے شک وہ اس بات پر خود گواہ ہے اور بے شک وہ مال کی محبت میں بری طرح سے گرفتار ہے یا نہیں وہ جانتا جب نکال لائے جائے گا جو کچھ خبروں میں ہے اور ظاہر کر دیا جائے گا جو کچھ سینوں میں ہے بے شک ان کا رب ان سے اس دن پوری طرح سے باخبر ہوگا تو اللہ سبحانہ وتعالی یہ is presenting the example of a horse you know these horses these fast running horses the Arabian horses are the most sought after horses in the world Arabian horses are supposed to be very very famous for the speed in which they gallop and the strength they have that it is said one Arab horse can lift the weight of 10 camels. That is the power of the horses. And these horses are not treated with luxury either. They are just given very ordinary food to eat. But these horses are very loyal to their masters. Very loyal. The moment their master jump on their backs and that's it. And whichever direction and order the master gives, the horse moves in that direction. And it moves at high speed. Most often, they are made to run through rough terrain, rivers, mountainous areas, and even in battles. But they never hesitate. They never withdraw. They never reject the order of the master. Even it may be at the cost of losing their own life. That is the power of their loyalty and their extent of serving their master. So Allah is comparing that to a human soul. Allah has blessed this human being with infinite blessings. 
but how loyal is this servant to allah is the larger question most often he is not loyal most often he does not obey the master's command in spite of the master giving him so many things so that in sends a message that man is worse than a horse and an animal as well and allah gives a reason for that allah says man is extremely ungrateful the word kanud kanud actually means man is prepared to note down the calamities that have befallen on him rather than see the blessing which allah has conferred on him and that is what is meant by the word kanud kanud ka matlab ye hai ke musibaton par nigah ho jo us par aati hai lekin allah ki jo ni'matein hain allah ka jo fazl hai usko insaan nazar andaaz kar deta hai isko kanud kehte hain uski nigah sirf jo hai calamities misfortunes par hi hoti hai lekin jo ni'mat hai allah ne usko nawaza hai he most often just does not bother to even acknowledge it so this is what is meant by the word kanud and allah says verily he is upon that himself is a witness and the second reason why allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says is he has passionate love for wealth mal ki havas mal ki mohabbat mein buri tarah se wo giraftar hai at the end allah says that not he know that will be brought out whatever is in the graves whatever is buried in the grave everything will be brought out right including us we are we going to be buried in our graves we are going to get out allah the earth is going to throw us out wa khrajat al arzu asqala we have seen that was yesterday in surah zilzal and all that a human being may preserve in his heart which he thought is unknown to the outside world all that will be made apparent and exposed sab kuch jo hai zahir kar diya jayega wo seene mein kapat kina bugs ana nifaq hasad dushmani ego hypocrisy envy hatred jealousy all these diseases of the heart he will got he would possess everything will be made apparent and exposed for allah subhanahu wa taala will have total control over his affairs and will be well acquainted of everything that he has done he or she has done in this world 